when the guns start barking, we are all in the line of fire. We are all in the line of fire when the guns are my roll. And that's why it is our concern as a race of people, as Jamaicans, to look into ourselves, my brother, and say, listen, this is crisis. Jamaica under siege. It is everybody concerned. Greetings, Jamaica. This is Big Stone coming to you again. Jamaica, it is gone from bad to worse. It has gone from bad to worse, Jamaica. And what is, we have killed over 900 people and counting in this country. We have lost over 189 of our citizens just in Montego Bay alone. Not to mention the other cities and the other towns and the other communities. We're losing four or five Jamaican citizens per day. To prove what point? When we're killing each other. To prove what? All of us are here trapped on this island together. Some people are doing a little bit better than some. And some people not doing too good at all. But we're all here. We cannot just jump off of this island as we feel. So I'm appealing to you, Jamaica. I'm appealing to every single Jamaican. I'm coming to you not as the government. I'm not coming to you as a member of the police department. I'm not coming to you as a clergyman from some church. I'm not coming to you as a politician. I'm coming to you as a citizen of this country. A citizen just like how you are a citizen of this country. May I understand, my brethren, that things bad. No job, you them not have no outcome, no income, no hope, all kind of something mixed up in it to make it get from bad to worse. But now it is exploding. It is official now, Jamaica, that we have successfully killed over 900 of our citizens. It is official, Jamaica, that we are losing four to five of our citizens every day. We're not fighting a civil war. We're not, we're not having an uprising over any form of injustice that is being bestowed upon our people. We're not doing that. We're killing ourselves. We're killing each other. And sometimes, sometimes, sometimes for the simplest of reasons. My brethren, it takes two to tango. A quiet answer sometimes doesn't make you a coward. A quiet answer turn it away wrath. When you can show respect from one person to another and love each other. I can't say I have a person out there that I consider my enemy. You're crazy. Of course, people have done stuff that I don't like. And I'm human being. I'm going to rebel. But there are many ways of rebelling, ladies and gentlemen, and people out there, especially the youth. Man. When you rebel against a system, man, it must be some because of some good reason. But when you rebel against each other, what is it? What do you call it? Make sure show them say there's a better way, Rasta. We can't just sit down, so help me. Oh, for people say, boy, big stones, you lucky. Huh. The man, they can't hear me. What do you mean, the man, they can't hear me? You're human beings just like oh, me, you human beings, my brother. Every man of a heart, every man of a conscience. Karma. Karma is a hell of a thing, my brother. What goes around comes around. The other day, a man lit down a man and shoot a man in a Hanover. And in 10 minutes after him, kill a human being there. Police barricade him and kill him. Was it worth it? Nah! Two human beings like that. I'm sure it's a two human being family right now is left to mourn. Every human being need the right to live. Don't take it from them, my brother. If you have a misunderstanding with somebody, I know the differences, man. Call a friend. Call somebody where him know and respect. Because if him no one gain a respect, the person where him know and respect, yeah, man, we iron out the thing, brethren. It takes dialogue. Reason one Jamaican with another. We not reason again. We stop from reason. What? I want to reason. Oh, so. we can't reason. Why two persons who have a misunderstanding in the business that what? 
Why two persons can't have similar reason with them one another, brother? And come to some amicable understanding. The police have to learn to reason with the citizen of the community. And likewise, the citizen of the community have to work with the police. It, they used to stay there and going nowhere. The soldiers are here to stay, they ain't going nowhere. But we can live amicably that they don't even have to come into our community because there's nothing going on in our community for them to be here. We can keep them out. You don't have to like the police, you don't have to like the soldiers. You don't have to like this, you don't have to like that. But ask them to carry yourself in such a way that they respect you when they see you and you in turn get your respect. Jamaica, this is a beautiful country, Virgil. I love that country from my heart. There's no other country in the world that me love like home. I love this little, little piece of rock here. And that's why every chance I get me, I beg the idea, my brother. We know say my man, I'm going to my man, I'm bad, my man, my man, I'm prove something. But prove what? Prove so we're the killing capital of the world? Is that what we're proving? People are dead every day, four or five. Me concerned, I'm every talk. Because me living at this island here. We all have to live here, my brother. So we could just come together, no man. Bury with differences, brethren, in a business and what? Me know say me wolf a political war and fight again, because the man them don't understand the part there. But their personal war is being fought, Jamaica. One Jamaican to another. Clean up yourself, man. Jamaica nice to rot it. Chum on. Who can do better than that, you know? Me know you can do better than that, brother. Me know, say, overnight, if we say all gun shot for seas and no shot fire, we can do better than that. So I could just rise up, my brother. We could stop it, man. The other day, them licked on a, a bus driver, a man took a beer. A nine month baby, asleep, get gun shot. Jamaica, this serious, brethren. I may appeal to the government, them. I may appeal to the radio station, them. May appeal to the television station. Them. If you don't do phone apart, I may talk about corporate Jamaica. It's going to fall right from phone doorstep. You see the same way poor people are suffer down there and are suffer over this and are suffer over this. Uh. The killing range of AK 47 is over one mile. Every hyper-loaded, sophisticated, aristocratic community I get to just right beside it. So when the people are down at the wall, have them war and them differences. If we not try to help them, to curb them anger and them frustration and them pain. When the guns start barking, we are all in the line of fire. We are all in the line of fire when the guns are my roll. And that's why it's our concern as a race of people, as Jamaicans, for looking to ourselves, my brother, and say, listen, this is crisis. Jamaica under siege. It is everybody concerned. We call up a whole for corporate companies, you know. And when we send our proposal to them, not looking for anything in return. We just want peace and quiet, brethren. We just want the regular music to start play again. You know? And that's why we have to big up artists like Paul Elliott. Artists like Tarch. Artists like Anathodox. Because when we call upon them Rastaf, they never hesitate. That's why we have to big up Bongo Herman again. Because when we call upon Bongo Herman, I say, yo, Bongo Herman, people are dead in Jamaica, you know. Come play two drum Rasta. Bongo Herman no hesitate. And that's why we there are called upon being a man, a bounty killer, an Ayaktian, and popcorn. Because them artists are the people who believe in them artists there. The people them believe in a being a man. The people them believe in a bounty killer, I obtain popcorn, poppy. Them believe in a you. Yeah. Even from prison, wives can't tell you. Me ask you to use your powers that you have and reach out to them, you to Rasta. Enough people are in a Jamaica are dead. And you can't take it no longer. Show on! Only can do better than that. A big swallow, please. Last part.